Hey, hey, how are you guys doing? It is Clary Berry here with the Ethereum horoscope for the 17th through the 23rd of January 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. Got some exciting energy. Emotions are running high right from the start of the week here. We've got a full moon on the 17th and that is actually in the 12th house here for Ethereum. So there's a sense of release and closure and healing. A new start, a fresh start in Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum is going to be acting in a new way. And you know kind of how, you know, Ethereum does. It's kind of lays low for a while and then boom. So we'll see. Let's let's see. The 17th, we also have a couple of aspects peaking specifically for Ethereum here. We've got Sun in conjunct natal Jupiter. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's real good. <coughs> and then we also have North node says quadrant natal Pluto, which is a big, big, powerful aspect ending not until April 22nd. So of course, North node has to do with kind of the future and getting through. It's kind of almost like this bigger picture of what's going on. Yes, there's going to be power struggles, but that is bound to happen with this type of innovation, with this type of something still so new to the world. Okay. But very powerful energy. So basically things are looking pretty good here. Um, there's, there's a kind of a sense of calm. It starts out good actually. And it's either, it's either, it could be up and down because we have that Jupiter. I think there's going to be that strong fire and then either it comes back down or it might be going down first and then kind of go up or sideways and then come back down is kind of how I'm seeing that. A um, little bit of movement though, almost like a sideways five down over around or again, just like an up and a down basically all in all, it's kind of going to go sideways, you know, from the beginning to the end of the day. But, you know, we might have some peaks in the middle. So on the 18th, we have Sun, Sextile, Needle, Saturn. Obviously, Saturn aspect is going to put a damper on anything that is probably going on. Um, we do have the general kind of energy of Uranus going direct. So it could bring some surprises. Um, and this is in, you know, this is in Ethereum's 10th house. So you might see Ethereum's kind of, um, you know, fame and success and recognition and, and reputation sort of be affected here. Um, I think that yeah, I was thinking before kind of like maybe really trying to make some baby steps and trying to do something and then just go sideways. But I'm almost thinking it's more going to be like sideways and then down um, or maybe. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a mess. <laughs> it's very limited. Um, again, probably some twists and turns. Anything, if it goes up, it's going to come right back down there. Um, so... It is what it is. On the 19th, we've got general aspects only. Sun moving into Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is good for crypto in general for obvious reasons. This is over the next four weeks in Ethereum's seventh house. So there's, of course, you know, with Aquarius, we have all of this innovation energy, all of this technology, new, fresh great for humanity. Let's help the world. Let's help everything, you know, bleeding hard, everything. And then we bring in, this is in the seventh house, bring in the partnerships, bring in the people who will help you get what you want. So watch out for that. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got more news, different companies and people promoting and partnering officially with Ethereum. Okay. Maybe not necessarily again on this day, but this energy, this Aquarius energy in the seventh house is here for the next four weeks during Aquarius season. So pretty good, pretty good long-term bullish news there. And, um, on the 20th, we've got sun in conjunct Venus. Okay. Now this is again, kind of limited. This is not the day over and down, or maybe if it goes up, it's going to be did, 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 did back down. Okay. Not really doing a whole lot. Um, maybe even sometimes to buy in by the dips and hodl, not financial advice, of course. Um, 
I am an astrologer, not a financial advisor. So anyway, the 21st, we've got Mars uh, trine Jupiter. Now this, guys, is where our energy should start to get really, really good here, okay? It's like there's a dark side and then there's learning from it. And I think we're going to have maybe some deep, uh, some steep rises, maybe even some steep dips, but it's going to keep on going. There's not going to be anything to slow this down. It's going to be able to accomplish things and have some action on this day with this Mars trine um, natal, natal Jupiter. There's some luck. There's some fire. There's, again, this sense of overcoming the fear. And it might start out slow, okay, and then just get progressively better. If you see my line on my paper, it's like, and like almost straight up. And, you know, that's only one of them. I did draw another line that's kind of straight up and then maybe over a little bit. But I think maybe the over comes first and then it gets momentum towards the end of the day to do even better. I do believe. Again, keep in mind, we do have, I'm in Central Standard Time. So that's kind of what I'm operating off of if you're looking at, you know, how we're doing and everything like that. So on the 22nd, Sun says a quadrant natal Mercury. This, I think things can get pretty exciting here, but it's, it's like some of this is still some nervous energy. It's not completely gone from us yet. So what this is, is wanting to peak, wanting to peak a little bit up straight down okay or up down and then still able to go up let's see end of the day mars sesquicrojet okay yeah i think i might pick up at the at the end of the day definitely going to be a dip in the middle up down up again it's 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 a little bit harder when there's like so many different movements within the day. It's, it's like, okay, you know, like I said, it's going to be exciting. Definitely. So on the 23rd guys, we have general aspect, sun conjunct, um, Mercury in Aquarius. So this, I'm not surprised to get the, to get this card. We have basically truth and clarity coming here on this day. We've got fate happening. We've got winning, almost like win the lottery type of energy here. Okay. And it's interesting because we may not see it all at once for this day. And I think that it might be, this one was a little bit hard too, because there's some different, yeah, we have some issues. We're still in a whole nother world. We may not see a lot of this great, you know, again, Aquarius, you know, Mercury energy on the, on the, 23rd. Um, I think that it's going to be up and then over, maybe even some up and downs. I, I was having a hard time, you know, whether it's down first or up first, but there's definitely kind of a clear turn to the day. And again, lots of excitement. Okay. Might be again, sideways and then kind of up or up and then over or over and then down or down and then over. It's like if we go by the cards, it'll be up earlier and then down. I could see that coming, going up, coming back down and then just kind of sideways. Okay. Typical Sunday, not doing a whole lot, but it's still, it's going to be exciting for, for Sunday, I think. And, um, again, kind of those partnerships are going to be either make or breaking Ethereum there on the 23rd. So on the 24th, give you a little bonus day here. Should be a pretty good day. We've got creative energy. We've got growth. We've got good, you know, financial energy uh, with our Mars trine natal Venus. It won't be the biggest boost. It'll be a little bit stable, maybe, you know, kind of up and sideways at the same time. Okay. Whether it's sideways and then up, or if it's just kind of lazy river style going up, um, kind of like a lot of up and downs, but sort of clear, sort of steady rise upward. Um, even though we have Saturn opposite Mercury, this um, Saturn opposite Mercury is peaking on the 24th and can be good or bad. Um, it's just kind of all how it's all fate. It's all how it deal, how, how it, you know, the chips fall. Um, but I think, if I had to say, I think it'll be better um, for numerous reasons and especially again, some long-term 
boosting here. So, wow, this seems like a crazy week, a lot of up and down, and it's not necessarily, you know, following the trends of maybe Bitcoin and even ADA. I'd have to look at that again. Um, but kind of starting out strong, doing its own thing. And, you know, again, got some good Jupiter lucky energy. We've got some scares though, too. We've still got this residual fear. Um, when, when, whenever emotions are running high, people can tend to, you know, make mistakes. So again, no selling low by the dips and hodl. Uh, much love, many blessings. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.